Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. So for this week's review, we are going to be testing out yet more cannabis infused products, but this time we are gonna be looking at hair care. So rolling back to a couple of weeks ago now, I did a review on some NYX cannabis infused makeup. If you haven't seen that, I will link it above, but ever since then, I have been seeing cannabis infused products literally everywhere. As somebody that doesn't really know anything about cannabis, weed, whatever you want to call it, the fact that these major brands are bringing out cannabis infused products fills me with a bit more confidence that it isn't just mainly for the shock factor or for a gimmick, it's actually because they have some type of benefit to you. So today's video is going to be all about my experience with the Aussie Calm the Frizz shampoo conditioner and also the hair mask that I used last night. And just a disclaimer guys, so you all know, this video is not sponsored, these products were not gifted to me, I paid for them with all my own money, so these are my own honest opinions and recommendations. So, if you want to see how I get on with these, then make sure to keep on watching. So I came across this Aussie Calm the Frizz shampoo and conditioner combo along with the hair mask I'd say a good three to four weeks ago now. I don't believe that with some specific products that I review, you can get an accurate feel for what they are like just from using them for the one time, which is why I've actually been using these bad boys for the last three weeks now, every single wash without fail. So I have a lot to say about these. Starting off with the shampoo, which is where I always start when I wash my hair. Off the bat, the texture of this shampoo is way different to what I'm used to. It's very thick. I think the word that you would use is viscous. That's for when a liquid is very thick, isn't it? Yeah, I wanna say that it is. I, I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. Just a little backstory, my hair is very much like fluffy, out of control. It's quite curly, but not like coil curly. It's in between, a little bit unmanageable, kind of on the verge of being like 90s style. So I pretty much almost always blow dry and straighten my hair. And I was hoping that maybe the shampoo would help me not need to straighten my hair as much because if my curls were a little bit more sleek and just a bit more under control I wouldn't actually mind just washing my hair and leaving it. Normally when you wash your hair and you feel some kind of texture you want to carry on washing don't you because you think your hair's not clean. That is not what this shampoo is about. Obviously it is a frizz calming shampoo. This shampoo left a funny texture on my hair that I wasn't used to. That could potentially to some people sound quite negative however it's not whatsoever. I think because when I wash my hair, I don't know if this happens with anybody else, especially if you've got a very fine hair texture like myself. I've got a lot of hair, but it is very, very fine. When I wash it, it goes so fluffy. Like I'll blow dry my hair and within a few hours, it will start to kink. It will start to go a little bit fuzzy, especially if it's been raining. Let's say there's a lot of moisture in the air. My hair will literally, by the time I've got from my house to my car, I can already feel my hair starting to get that fuzzy texture to it. No amount of hairspray has ever been able to stop my hair from doing that. Also, I really struggle a lot with baby hairs. I've always known about my hair sticking off, especially at the front. My baby hairs are out of control. There's hair sticking up up here. There's hair flying about around here. Like it's very hard to blow dry the very, very teeny tiny front bits of your hair. 99% sure that they don't make a hairbrush that that small. If they do, please let me know because I need to get one. With all that in mind, I was kind of hoping for miracles but not expecting too much because I've used other shampoos that potentially are frizz controlling and they haven't really done much for me so I just gave up on them. This, however, my hair now, for example, okay, so I washed my hair last night after using the hair mask as well. I washed it last night, I let it air dry most of the night, so when I went to sleep, it was semi-damp, and I left it in a little bun on my head. In the morning, I woke up, my hair was dry. I literally just ran the straightness through my hair, put a little bit of hairspray on, because I looked outside and it was foggy, and went out. So far, I've had an eight hour day of being at work. I also went straight from work to the gym at half past five. I did a whole workout, I showered, I came back, and my hair, is pretty much how I left it this morning. It's sleek, it's smooth. I haven't noticed any of the flyaways or my baby hair nearly as much as what I normally do. By the time I get to the gym or even halfway through my day, I'm looking at my hair in the mirror and thinking, oh my God, what is going on? Like, I don't have anything to try and fix this right now. But using this shampoo over the last couple of weeks, I have really noticed a massive difference. I'm not gonna say that it completely cured the baby hair situation because some days I just sleep too hard. I'm not 
an everyday hair washer, it's like every other day. So I mean, I do get the occasional day where I've got to kind of put a bit more effort in to fix my bed hair. But on the whole, I would say the shampoo has really done a lot for me. The conditioner as well, I was kind of worried that it would leave my hair super sleek, super smooth, where any type of style that I put in my hair would just fall out. The last couple of weeks, I've mainly been doing my hair straight, but the odd occasion I have been curling my hair. My hair has been holding the style for way longer than normal, especially on the first day after I washed my hair. I'm normally used to my hair just dropping the curls like within hours. It has been holding them so good, guys. I literally am really impressed. I definitely say though, if you are somebody that has fine hair, it's always good to use a shampoo that leaves some kind of texture in your hair, even though the thought of having really like silky feeling hair when you've just washed it is always appealing and is probably what you're used to. A shampoo that leaves some type of texture in your hair is actually way better because it helps you hold the style. It makes your hair less fluffy and unmanageable when you've washed it. Also as well, if you do decide you want to try out the shampoo and conditioner combo for yourself, you will definitely notice a different kind of texture to your hair once you've say towel dried it, for example. So when I towel dried my hair, and I was about to go in and blow dry it and start styling it, I noticed that my hair was a lot more dry than I was used to at that stage. Normally I will towel dry my hair, I'll leave it for a bit to kind of air dry a little bit and then I'll go in and dry my hair. I didn't actually need to do that, which was really strange for me. Also, I felt like my hair wasn't absorbing as much of that water and holding it in as I'm used to. Normally, I will be blow drying my hair and it will take me so long. Now, moving slightly away from the shampoo and conditioner for a moment, I want to talk to you about the hemp seed extract hair mask. So like I said, I used this last night. I saved it till then because my hair is very much overdue a haircut. I think it knows because it's starting to misbehave. And I thought maybe if I used the hair mask, it would keep it under control just for the next couple of days. This is what the packaging looks like. Imagine it not ripped or anything. It has all of the deep conditioner in this part of the packaging. And then at the top here, it would have this shower cap, which is unbelievably cute. And it's also really, really good quality, which means you can use it again and again. On the packaging, they recommend that you use this hair mask after you've shampooed your hair. Obviously, they recommend that you use the Calm the Frizz shampoo to do so. Once you've done that, you towel dry your hair, comb it through with a wide tooth comb very gently and then apply the conditioner to the mid lengths and ends of your hair. Once you've done that, they say put it up on the top of your head and then apply the shower cap over the top of that and leave it to sit for about 10 minutes, which is what I did last night. I noticed a massive difference in my hair straight away, like before my hair was even dry. Don't get me wrong, I really do love the normal Calm the Frizz conditioner, but when I use this hair mask, guys, it was literally something else. Of course, hair masks are not made to be used every single day. It is probably a very expensive way to condition your hair, but the difference between my hair now versus on a normal day is like, so crazy. My hair's really sleek, really smooth. There are no tangles in my hair at all. And normally I'm used to like big mats at the back, guys, like no lies. So I 100% would get a couple more of these just to put in my drawer for on the days when my hair is a little bit more unmanageable and maybe is ready for a haircut. Now to conclude this video, would I recommend the Aussie Calm the Frizz shampoo, conditioner and hair mask to you? If it wasn't obvious that the answer was 100% yes, you must have been watching a different video because I am absolutely obsessed with these right now. Like, my old shampoo and conditioner is a complete distant memory to me at the moment. I will keep on using these until they're empty, dead, gone. They stop having an effect on my hair. I absolutely love them. And I really love the way that my hair is at the moment, which is something I can honestly say I haven't said for such a long time. So that was it for this week's video. My thoughts on the Aussie Calm the Frizz shampoo, conditioner, and hair mask. If you enjoyed this, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. I will leave links to all of the things I've shown you in this video down in the description below for you, along with my social media. So if you haven't already, make sure you go over and give my Instagram a follow. And I'll also leave a link to my channel over here in case you wanna go over and subscribe. Thank you again so much for spending your time with me this week. I hope you have a super lush weekend as always, and I will see you again next time for another video. Bye.